Start this thing up, man. I got shit to do. That's a terrible person. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Your hiccups is gone. No, they not. I'm holding no. them in. Just start this thing. That motherfucker, you $40 looking like 3D on that nigga. Chair. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be holding his hiccups. Welcome back to the most underrated <laughs> podcast you probably never heard of. I go by the name of Keenan. We got Johnny in the building. I'll take Keenan. We got Jerry in the building. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and we got Chris in the building. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Episode 211 is on the way, my people. Hey. I'll hey, be surprised every week, honestly. Put numbers on the board. Yeah. Rack them up. A lot of episodes on the belt. I feel like I'm on episode 200. You about probably less than that. <laughs> probably like 180, yeah, to be and, honest. In pod years, you get one episode at 186, my nigga. <laughs> I feel like I'm in dog years. In pod years. Times yeah. seven? What's 211 times seven? That's how old I am in pod years. That's like simple, bro. <laughs> it is. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Like 1477. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how old I am in five oh, years. That's that's an easy question though. Like you can break that down easy, but like if you say like 382 times 498, yeah, it's gonna take a minute. I'm not gonna try. It. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a little bit harder. That's what I'm saying. That one was like carry the one. <laughs> how we living? How's everybody doing? Yeah. Thug life. Good. All right, let's skip over him. How's everybody doing? I'm good, man. I'm just, you know, I'm just happy to be here, man. Happy really? to be here. Happy to see another day, man. Yeah, man. Uh, here we go. Every yeah. day above ground. Every yeah, day, but you know. Top side, top, top, <laughs> top soil, side. top side. If you top you side, you good, man. Put the top soil on the top side. Man, it was somebody on Twitter was like. <laughs> 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 this shit is crazy. <laughs> and it was like, I'm sitting here like, y'all hear this shit? <laughs> Don't nobody hear what this shit. What are you shit? talking about top soil for? <laughs> he, be, he be saying that, man. If top side, not top soil, my boy. Uh, <laughs> top soil. You, cr- you crash out for some sayings. That's nuts, bro. I look like, hmm. Don't buy hear this? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hear it. We hear so, it. Sometimes you just got to drive past it. <laughs> it's all good. All right, what we got, man? It's, what do we have fall, this It's week? fall. Yeah, it's starting. Y'all like fall. So, you know, I imagine you got the attic fan on because it's a good little breeze coming yeah, through here. But it's not that. Oh, it's shit. decent outside. Yeah. yeah you about to turn it's, it off. It's, it's supposed beautiful. to get like 50 tonight. I mean, tomorrow yeah. it's going to be the probably the last blazer we have for a while. 90? Yeah, tomorrow. we're hitting them 90s tomorrow. That's Record bullshit. high, but then yeah. after that we bubble like, warming. But Sunday, Sunday it's is back down to seventy. Sunday is the perfect weather, like fifty six mm-hmm. and a high seventy three. Fifty six, yeah, that's a perfect day, bro. I feel yeah, like it is. You know, give me between sixty four and seventy four. Nah, I can do. That's crazy. I like a little bite, a little bite. I don't like a little bite, but you stay with a five is the first number. I'm good. I'm you start sure. putting a four in out 50? there. Yeah, yeah 50s, 50s, I'm, I'm good. good with that. 40, 50. I'm kind of yeah. pissed off, honestly. I don't know the numbers. You know how you go out there in the morning, it's like just a little bit of dew on the ground, but it ain't cold. You like that in like seven. That's like 65. Yeah. Yeah. That to 74, whatever that is, I don't care. 60, a 60 to a 74 degree day, that's a, that's a beautiful day. That's what that was football weather. You just outside all day. That yeah, day, like, just, that shit just feel perfect. It's the best. The best part of fall is when the mosquitoes go back to hell. I agree. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna hold with you. I agree with that. I agree with that. Now I'll take a forty degree day for that to happen. Yeah, yeah. For them to all die off. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, Do they all banish die them off? back to hell where they came yeah. from? When they get cold, so. they be out of here. Do they die off though? I don't know what they do. I mean, I feel like they all die off. How the hell they get back to next year? Because they, they got larvae. They breed again. Oh, yeah. Okay. They cocoons and shit. They are, why they? They do not have us. cocoons. That's a caterpillar. That is a caterpillar. That, that's oh, true for that's sure. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Thought yeah. that shit was gonna slide. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I thought I was rolling. <laughs> it's larva, man. Like the shit that grow in the water. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't, don't mind them. Shit. I just don't like all the, the flies that be outside your house by the light and shit. That's summer, summer though. Yeah, that's deep summer. That's the moss in them. They yeah, just, they yeah but once it you start getting cool, you don't really see them fucking. Yeah. Oh no, like, you don't see no no insects for no. unless you got roaches. Mm. That's true. That's bad. Yeah. That's you got time. one roach. You got a lot of roaches. When was the last time you seen a roach? 
I feel like I haven't seen the roaches. I can't even remember. I hope so. I mean, I feel like they, I, at one point, I felt like they was extinct because I ain't seen one. In, yeah, like I've never been in somebody's house in so long and seen the roach. Man, yeah. y'all, ain't, y'all ain't been from the gutter before. 30 years. How old am I? 40, 30 plus years. No, I'm not going to say 30. I remember I went to a girl's house in June. I, I bet not ever go to a girl's house. I bet not ever in life go to a girl's house and see a roach, bro. Riding, bro. <laughs> Think it in a snake. Nah, nah, they get a roach. Hey, it was a worth roach. It? it was no, worth no. it? No, no. I, walk, I don't care what you look like. I walk in and see a roach. I'm I am out of here. here. Yeah, that's nasty work. I, I didn't kick her out the bed. <laughs> You took the roaches so home with you, you see? Dang, and nah. the bed bug. That's how it be. Uh, That's how I be. See, I'm that type man. of nigga. That, I, I grew up in that house. That, that <laughs> type of household. Like, nigga, you do not go places with roaches, bro. Because then, you know, you mess yeah. around, take your shoe off. No, you go back man. to the house like, we got a goddamn roach. So. And then they uh, start breathing. Uh, what was the name? I, that? I can't remember the club name. Left my grandpa, club. my grandpa. It, it. I remember it was like, I was real young. He was like, nah, fuck this. He was like, I, I remember he was mad as shit. He was like, I don't know which one of you dirty motherfuckers brought these roaches hey, to my man, house. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, that's how my mom high. was playing. Mom don't play. She'd be like, somebody brought that shit in. Hey, he called the exterminator. Hey, I need somebody ASAP. I need bombs. I need all that shit. And niggas came through. I think I ain't really never had no, like, no shit like that anyway, though. Me. What? Like live like I feel it's like dirty like shit. project. Yeah, first of all, my mom's too clean for that. Nah. She clean up every day. It nah. don't matter though. Like some places where you live at, like if if you live in like an apartment, and that's what never I'm about get to roaches, say. Oh, you gonna have roaches. That's yeah. what I'm about to say. You bombing the shit but out. Like, like it be like the jacks is when you see shit like. But that. you I know, like, like who bad, got the roaches? Shit. Roaches like you might have a little some little roaches and shit like here and there. You like they be around the edge. You just spray them and shit. That's some little baby but you go in somebody's house that got roaches, roaches. That be the one joints. where like you turn right, be like, oh, your cabinet moving. Or or the niggas don't even move like nigga. Nah, up? they too comfortable nah. with that. Yeah. You turn light on, they don't move, nigga. Too hey, comfortable. Hey. Like, now now, now you really in they shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what the fuck? You <laughs> you you a visitor, nigga. <laughs> yeah. They like who? Hey, who he? <laughs> yeah. Who the What was that? Joe's like? apartment. Yeah. What's yep. up, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Damn, that's a good question, bro. Hey, niggas came up. That's all. Like the most I and see. And plus, like, especially like my parent, my mom was like the cleanest person, bro. She cleaned every day. Mm. Put some bleach in that damn Legit dishwater. clean every day. Vacuum, yeah. sweep, mop every day. You're not supposed to put bleach in there. In a dishwater? No, you're not. Why not? Because it's toxic. You ever drink bleach before? No, because I'm not I'm not drinking it in these dishes either. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will give me one of them red cups. <laughs> <laughs> Should have disinfected right. It's just, you know, chlorine. Look, chlorine yeah. ain't never hurt nobody. I know, I know your moms ain't dealing with that shit. Moms? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. So no, we lived in uh, Village Green, and that was the situation there. Like, you know, it was kind of, it's a little bit lower income type place. And uh, on the verge of the Jets. It was pretty close back then. You know what I'm like saying? But it was like my mom shit? said. Uh, President Gardens? No, nah, President, President Gardens. Gardens, they got roaches now, <laughs> today. <laughs> the <laughs> roaches, know, yeah. Roaches. They got, they, yeah. they in there. They, they been living there longer than most of the people. Yeah. You know, but. Uh, like, you know, my mom said just left her husband and then she got an apartment there. And uh, we was there for, we wasn't even there that long for real because she started seeing roaches. She's like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. And she was like, no, thank you. And we moved. But I'm not shocked. She was like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but then like, so all of the stuff though that we had there, she was like, I'm getting rid of all of this shit. And I remember she took my box spring outside. Well, the dudes did. They took my box spring outside and it, and it fell over Man, on the sidewalk. Oh my god! Fucking crazy amount of them. Mom was like, "Ah, oh, hit!" She went the fuck off. I'm like three. She oh. went the fuck off. Damn. I was like, "Hey, hey, hey!" I ain't, I ain't even know. I was just petting them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen them. Like I remember, I was back then. I'm playing like so double dribble on the Nintendo and shit. You go to her house, right? My mom? No, her. Any her. Oh, the her. The her. The her. My you baby go, her. Your, your baby her. You go to her house. <laughs> she, she I make these steak potatoes. You know, let me get slipping in something comfortable. <clears throat> and then you see a roach. Ah, nah. <clears throat> we gonna talk about this shit. Like, right. Lady <laughs> death, baby, but I gotta go. Hey, I'm like, uh, you know what? Bouncing? 
I'd be like, you, you. The, I, the Malibu house with the ocean views and everything. Like, the millionaire her. Like you she bouncing? can't have no roaches though. Like you bouncing? But she, if you see some roaches, I don't mean one. I mean like you, like yo, would you would you squash this bug and still smash? And play it off? Like, nah, I can't do that, bro. I can't do that. It hurt my heart too. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I got, I, I got, I got a ghost. I got it. <laughs> it's a, I ain't signed up for this shit. <laughs> I mean, like you cool, you know what I'm saying? You keep doing your thing. God, yeah. Are you gonna be like, how this happen? Like, we can talk about that after I get up out of here. I'll text her like, yo, what was that? What was that, <laughs> <laughs> what was, what was that about? <laughs> you ain't think I saw it? <laughs> like, you ain't even tell them chickens to chill before I got here? <laughs> hey, you just like, hey, I'm having company, nothing? Nah. They could be, you know. You gotta give a pregame speech, like y'all just stay in the cupboards. Yeah, y'all act like y'all yeah. had company before. To have your little pregame <laughs> talk or so, you know. But nah, I don't know. That's that's a little too rough for me. I've been. I ain't. You gonna just leave? I'm gonna be like, yeah, you know, we could be friends. I plead nah. the fifth. I, the fifth. I believe. He he <laughs> don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, I will say this though. That's like it depends. It's discernment that me as single. Yeah, I about to say me as a, if I was a single man today. I know twenty six Johnny is going. Nah, I'm good on that. But young nigga, I didn't. Man. <laughs> 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 like PGs, nigga. What else? It ain't no just, thing. No, no, no box break. <laughs> Shit. I just gotta keep one yeah. eye on her, one eye on the brother. Yeah, yeah, like my shoes start moving though. You know, <laughs> shit get crazy. Keep the shoes on. What about she got rats? Nah, that's uh, not absolutely. That's, I, don't nah, I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, yeah, you ain't getting a text. You ain't talking about that at all. <laughs> what type of sick brain you got? Nah. Rat, you rat, or my, like a field mice that's just snuck in the house in the winter. A mice is low. Oh, okay. Yeah. A yeah, rat. Because a rat nigga like You talking a about rat. like a New York sewer rat? Right? No, nah, nah, not a New York sewer rat. I'm like, nigga, just a rat, though, is bigger yeah. than a rat. Rat's mice. bigger than a mouse. Yeah. A it's, like, it's like rat. But if you it's, got mice in like the summertime, though, I know you nasty. Yeah, mice in the summertime, you nasty as fuck. I don't uh, know the correlation there. Because, because like in wintertime, mice mouse. look for something warm. So you might find like they might slide through like a basement window or something, be in, like a basement or some shit uh. like that. But in the summertime, you know, ain't no mouse coming to your house to get no to build mm. a hey, nest spitting. No ain't like no that. mouse coming I mean, in your house. Hey, huh? you hear me? I'm a real city nigga. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Like you got if you got mice in the in the summer and shit, you real like, nasty. You just really nasty. Mm, okay, I, mm, every man, day. I think I got a I think I got a fucking was it a mole or a gopher that be digging in the yard. Oh yeah, you need uh, some. You gotta look at the fucking. You gotta get pinwheels. I, I and found that a, shit does not work. Right? I didn't I didn't find a mound. <laughs> I didn't find a mound. I found like a hole in the yard. Don't they? Burrow? That could be anything. That could be. But you'll see the dirt. Like it'll be a mound of dirt. Oh. Oh no! It could be a groundhog. Nah, Groundhog, you know they. It ain't. They what fat. what is Groundhog Day? Bit. It could be Groundhog. It's like Groundhog Day is coming up. It's like it's in February. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the hole is like <laughs> the circumference of the fucking Monaco can. It's small. Oh, you showing out, nigga. The circumference. They <laughs> 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 said I'm showing out. <laughs> not this one. Not this the radius, one. <laughs> nigga. No, no, not the radius. <laughs> I gave you the whole thing. <laughs> the circumference is radius, oh, no, is radius squared no, to find a bro. circumference. That's not true. Uh, mm. Mm. It's pi r squared. Pi r. Oh, I knew it was one of them. <laughs> <That's stupid. Crazy. laughs> is that circumference? Pi times pi r radius squared. squared. R squared. Yeah. I knew it was some radius squared. See. Did y'all see that uh, Jack Nicholson, Spike Lee, and Billy Crystal might be getting in the Basketball Hall of Fame for being super fans? Really? Oh, yeah, I did see about the super fans. Yeah. I want to say I saw it, but I didn't. Oh, I'm definitely going in. Nigga, no, you not. <laughs> Wait, why not? Because he ain't Jack Nicholson or whoever else you said. Chris is not a super fan, bro. How many times have you been on front on, on, on the first row of a Knicks game? Of a 49ers game? A few the times. With you, times? matter of fact. How many times? It wasn't enough eight? for them to know who you I'm are. I'm about to say Spike Lee probably been eight in times? eight thousand. Spike Lee. <laughs> Wait, so the only difference is that Spike Lee has can buy floor seats. Probably no, nah, because there's there's other I notable mean, fans. Like, like if he wasn't in jail, Chiefs of Holic should be in the Super. That was the fans. first thing I thought. Like, well, put yeah. Chiefs of Holic in there. This yeah. nigga's robbing banks. That's to true. Get it's got to be yeah. different cri- criteria. He was robbing banks to 
Bet. <laughs> well, I mean, well, because he's a fan. Shit. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck you mean? Like, he, he crashed was a out for Chief. Or, uh, uh, Fact. Who was old boy? Uh, Superman? Is that what he called him? Superman, the old dude. Clark Kent. Walk around the, uh, the city. Oh, that's uh, right. Westport? Uh, the Kansas City Black Superman. Black Jesus. We can't say yeah. that. Jesus. Yeah. He talking he, about he, what's yeah, the yeah, I know the dude yeah. ran on Westport all the time. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Wheeler. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I never. But knew then that. you got like the guy from New York. What is it, Fireman Joe? That's been doing a champ for like uh, years. Yeah. yeah, I oh, figured yeah. That he should yeah. though. Yeah, but like that, I'm like, you know, it seems like they just pick like rich people who can afford floor that's seats. True, it's true. I feel like it should be notable people though. Like, like you would know that guy if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's old boy, from the fireman dude from yeah, the I would, games. Yeah, but the only reason I know Spike Lee is because he's sitting in the front row, and it's you know he did movies. And he's, I'm about to say I've Spike never seen. Lee. I've never been like, yo, Spike Lee's like the greatest fan. Like, no, he's just nah, there but like. I don't even. I, I think I, it's, that's part of it. Though. I doubt they even pay for tickets anymore. The no, Knicks, he pay, they paying for tickets. Yeah, he's paying for shit free. Paying for tickets. But I'm like, the Knicks ain't one shit in years. Yeah, the I mean, I know. I mean, I know he's that. a fan, that's but like true. a super yeah. fan. That's true. I feel like yes. I mean, you got to show up to every home game. You got niggas robbing banks out here. Man. I mean, he don't got to do that. That's that's all you don't. That don't cut away from his fan. I feel like. I feel like the real super fan should be somebody like me. I ain't got a lot of money that will fly all the way out to California. To well, go you to should see. I'm not going to I thought that no, too. I'm not, not going to say that. Do that but I'm to not do that. arguing with that. Every year, but, two times. Or like, I fly out to any other city. Like the, been in like, New Orleans to watch a game. Tennessee to watch a I game. I mean, it's commendable, but it's like you're not memorable, though. You're just one no, once every year. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, like, that's just how <laughs> fucked up. It's how fucked up. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just like it's just like we know you a super fan, but they don't know you a super fan. Like the NFL don't know yeah, you a super like, fan. They like should, you're, like you got to do something. You're not there enough. You got to do something. You're I run fucking, on the field. You're you're a number that goes into this big algorithm of how many people watch the game. That's what you are. That's my problem with the data. data. That's what you're saying. He's just yeah, some data. Just data. So basically, we saying like only zero. only super fan that can be a super fan is somebody that we know for some reason. But I don't. Know but it, it doesn't have to be a celebrity. But you have to be like known. Like like when you said you thought a Chiefs a holic first, that's because you like that dude really yeah. love, fucking loves the Chiefs. Yeah. But for me, it's and he's not like, a celebrity. I, it's I think it's more of a super fan if you you know what I'm saying scrimp budget do whatever you got to do to make it out to some games when you ain't even live in that state. I don't think it takes shit for Spike Lee to go to a Knicks game. It don't take. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't take you shit. Spike but, Lee. but how do you how do you determine that though? But the thing is, anybody you, you can say you this broke, you that broke. I had to do this and do that to get it, but you hear, and you always. No, hear. I'm so not you saying it's not about being broke, but it's like yo, if you just talking about a super fan, I mean, we all know people that's like crazy about a team that'll spend like they last to buy a dumbass helmet or something. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I should have put it on the on the episode. It'd be on the next episode. I don't know if Spike Lee's like I'm gonna spend my last to buy a, a, a Knicks jersey. No, he'll probably spend his last on some film or something to to make some more money. Yeah, I'm like well, that. That's the thing, though. Like, when was the last time Spike Lee was worried about his last? That, you know that's what I'm, what I'm saying, though. Like, it's not. It's weird because, like, I know he's a Knicks fan, but I feel like y'all just picking people just because they were already famous and they go to the games. Well, I, I think in that instance, you just start with the celebrities to get them out the way because it's like they, they, they why are, though? But they are known just as much as Tech Nine would be known here going to a Chiefs game. You know what I mean? That's our celebrity from here. Like, I mean, it's just like the tears and shit. You know what I'm saying? You start up there, you know, you knock them out, and then you start. Well, I, I see what you're saying. Just give it to the people because the people really matter, right? Yep. Is that what but you're it's just at? like because the people matter more because the it, thing is, it don't stand out the same. That's the that's why because like you got a season ticket holder that been a chief season ticket holder since 1965. Or yeah, some shit. yeah, yeah. But like, you just a regular nigga though to them. You just a season and, and, ticket and, holder, and, and, and and they wouldn't know the you fame. If you up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the fame is what they like. Yo, this nigga's here every game. We notice that he's here every game, no matter what. So it stick out different. But the thing is, like with Chiefs of Holla, you only know him because he started robbing banks. I mean, no, people in Kansas no, City know him, known. but outside of Kansas City, nobody well, I mean, knew he wore he was. that. What does he wear? The gorilla suit or whatever? It was the it was wolf. wolf. The yeah. wolf suit. But nobody knew about him outside of Kansas City until he started robbing banks. 
But I bet I bet every city could nominate somebody that they know. That's what I was saying. They know. That's what I was saying. They know the per, there's, a, there's a person. Something like they know, like yo, this dude's been buying season tickets for us for thirty years. So they but, can, but but he's dressed up. He's got the spikes on his fucking shoulder pad. It's one of those people in every camp of of fans. For I can NFL. agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> those are the super fans. But it's just like you know my neighbor, for instance. Like he bought season tickets every year. Been buying them since he lived here. They don't know who he is. No, no but now I'm not, I'm not saying Spike shouldn't get in because I think he's like a prime example, of like you know, motherfucking diehard Knicks fan, diehard Knicks yeah. fan. You know, for the Lakers, he didn't been hurt. I mean, by Jordan been, all these years. Well, and that's Ray, then we got they Reggie got, Miller. Then they got Miller, Miller with the. Then they got Mello, and he thought he was still gonna get. <laughs> it was good. It didn't happen. But do you think a Knicks championship is not too far off at this point, though? You never know. Ain't winning shit. I don't know. They, they, they got, got cat. Town. They got cat now. He wasn't going that. They, they ain't winning shit with him. Oh. Mister Seven Foot Layup Man. <laughs> you heard him. I heard him. <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just yeah. Fuck those it. those famous people are just more. They can. They're noticeable more. I would say. Yeah. The, I don't even. They're probably not even a, the the biggest fan for these. Well, you know, throw fucking Marlins man in there, then. You see that motherfucker? Yeah, that I wouldn't be some, But see, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's another one where like people know who he is, just like the Jets do. You know what I'm saying? So you wouldn't if they the Jets do's a regular dude. If they right. said that though, they were like, "Yo, Marlins fan is getting in." You would be like, "Oh, that's what's up." You would agree with yeah. that, but I but I know that there's like I said, there's every. I would I would every more agree with Marlins man because my dude don't care where he at. He'd be like, "Come," he was at the Royals. Playoff yeah. series in the Marlins jersey. jersey. Yeah. yeah, like I ain't never seen Spike Lee in the, in the back of home plate. Spike with the Lee damn. just be at MSG. Yeah, he like I just go down the street. That's it. I go down the street, baby. Yeah. That's his thing. Marlins man, like anywhere I go, you know, I'm rapping. Fuck it. That's dope. I think that's just like a little stick now, but it is what it is. I mean, that's dope. I mean, I get it. You know what? They put me in the Hall of Fame. Then for I knew it was going to eventually get there. Yeah, I, I knew that we were going to eventually. I get sat through, that. through Brody Coryo. Tyler I give, you, I, I give you, I give you that you've been there. But, Matt Castle, bitch. But, ass. I just told my wife the other night, I can't wait till the Chiefs suck again. <laughs> <laughs> you had, you had I, just, I, I just said that last night. <laughs> Damn, I just said that last night because we were watching the Royals game. She's like, before the game even started, she's like, it's over, it's over, babe. It's over. They not. I said I can't wait till the Chiefs suck again. So you care about these Royals being in the playoffs again, but y'all. Okay. Boosie ass. <laughs> well, that's that's why I'll be like, man, I'm sorry, but Kansas City is the biggest bandwagon fans ever. You'll never hear anything about a Royal until it get close to them playoffs. Well, and I mean, if you close. lose a hundred goddamn games, though, man. I don't care. Like, I'm like the Chiefs. You like your team? We're you shitty. watch your game. I don't understand no. what you're saying here. The Chiefs were shitty for kind of a long the time. The Chiefs were shitty, but it's the difference between football and baseball. Not baseball really. is like a hundred something fucking games. Ain't nobody tuned in for a hundred fucking games. You don't games. have to watch. I'm just saying, you still keep up with your team. I think people know, like, yeah, they still fucking losing. They weren't this year? Yeah, people knew, like, oh, you know, no, they, they, didn't they know. came out strong. They had a losing little streak there. I ain't seen nobody wearing no Royals stuff. Nobody talking about the Royals. It started getting close. Oh, they might make it. Oh, let me throw my Royals hat on. You've seen people wearing Royals hats. Oh, we don't do like, nothing. Dude, like, and we don't do nothing not else in Kansas City. It's it's not even re- it ain't repping the Royals, but we don't do nothing else. We're going to throw on a Royals hat. It's a ro- I-, I see a Royals hat or a Chiefs hat. I got like every five day. Royals hats. Yeah. So you saying <laughs> that the Kansas City fan base are front runners? Yes. Bandwagoners. Really. Bandwagoners. I don't, I don't Bandwagoners. Think so. What would y'all say the most front runner fan base is? I just think it's easy to be a fan of certain teams. The Yankees. Oh, anybody the saying Lakers. Yankees, I'm like, yeah. The yeah, like Yankees. the Lakers. Yeah, okay. like the Lakers. The premier teams. Yeah, it's easy to be a fan of those teams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you young and you be like, I'm a Yankees fan, I'm like, you never lived in New York. I can understand like in the you know, older people where it was like they were like the only team on TV and shit like that. And that's how they got so many fans. Like the Bulls. The Bulls. Yeah. Definitely. Like the Bulls. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, all you ever saw was the Bulls on Whatever WG, it was, WGN. Boy, WGN. Nigga, yeah. I knew, I knew Channel Fifteen. Could, but nowadays, though, it's like, oh, you a Yankees game. fan? The Yankees don't even come on our local but team. That's, but that's fine. Fan? Even if that, if that's what you liked when you were little and you rocked with them your whole life, you like can, you, you a can, fan. You it can don't fall matter. in love. With yeah, any team. Nah, yeah, I'm just saying though. 
Like it's just easier to be a fan of these teams though. Like me, I'm a Lakers fan, but like it's easy to be a Lakers Bandwagon. fan. Like we always good. Bandwagon. Like even we'll go through some shit, but we be back. But you didn't know that when you was a kid. You didn't nah. know. Like yeah. I Cubs just really fan. liked um, Eddie Jones and Nick Van yeah. Axel when I was young. Yeah. It'd be pretty hard to be a Chicago Cubs fan. They just won a couple years ago. Yeah, but, but before that, they so were on like a hundred year yeah. drought. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you was a but Cubs go to fan Wrigley. That, go to a Wrigley they, game. They was, they was Cubs fans. Exactly. As much as long as they That's suck. That's what I'm saying. As long as they suck, go to a Wrigley That's game. That's what I'm saying. That motherfucker packed. All season, nobody. Royal Stadium, Kauffman Stadium, bear. Yeah. I agree with you Bear. There. You go to Chicago Cubs, they suck again this year. Packed. You know, it's like. It's a baseball town. I was about to. I think it depends though. Like, but this this is a baseball the Cubs town stadium. It's like right in the middle of the city though. Like you know, everybody people live around there. It's north. It's up north. It ain't as close to the city as you think. Like Field? that. Yeah, it's in the north. But side. I mean, it's like. I mean, it's neighborhoods across, yeah, around. It's in the middle of the neighborhood. Like, you can literally there. walk down the street and go to yeah, the, the stadium. It ain't like ain't nobody walking the car. Uh, like the White Sox are in the, Those people right there in the, the they in the hood. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to that motherfucker like that. I don't know if the uh, Kansas City fan base is the most front running. I'd probably go. with I mean, uh, it probably because I live here, but still, I just this is what I see. Oh, you say you biased? Hmm? So minus yeah. Kansas City, who would you say? I mean, I don't know really. What he's just saying, he knows what he sees. Yeah, that's I'd probably what I definitely see here. go like Cowboys fans. That's a fact. No, nah. but they they nah, at this Cowboys point though. Too, cause that's what I say. At this point, Cowboys though, if you're still a Cowboys fan, the, you just hold on. They're Cowboys arguably the most loyal. popular team in the league, and they haven't won since whenever. You and know? they always pick them to win. Even yeah, though every, year. every year. Every yeah, I say that because like Cowboy fans, when they up, oh, they are all you hear America's team. That's anybody. America's though. team. That's anybody. Though. But then as soon as they get smacked, they be like, "Get that guy out of here." You be looking for him. Like, <laughs> where, where he did he die? He ain't coming work. Nah, what you hear when they up is, how about them Cowboys? You like, shut your <laughs> bitch ass up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Skip. <laughs> you know, so, I don't know. I'll like I I probably go Patriots fans, too. I don't think they front runner. They just won a lot. They, they, no, they are, No, but I remember when they were winning. It seemed like all around you there were Patriots fans. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't seen the Patriots jersey. I still have. I, ain't I don't know I a Patriots have. fan no more. I do. Who? I mean, I ain't Goffy. Huh. Really? Yeah. Strong man, yeah. and he was way before. Yeah, he had the cold. Brady. Yeah, oh, way back it. in the day. But I mean, yeah, it was a lot of them around, and they wasn't just like you know basketball. I think it's different because you're just a fan of a, a player that goes to a team. That's what I was like. I wasn't like that though. Basketball is more star driven, so it's easier to like players. A, a lot over of, I mean, Sometimes, people like though, teams. It does work for you though, like. With the Bulls in basketball, I feel like it was that. Like in the nineties, then you loved the Bulls. No, I don't yeah, care. Everybody who you were. did. Yeah. yeah. Besides Knicks fans. That was the only yeah. people. And then everybody else loved the Bulls. You know, or in like the Cowboys in the nineties. We were just talking about this. Like in the Cowboys in the nineties, like niggas fuck with the Cowboys. I was a Broncos fan my whole life, but I had a Cowboys starter coat when Never I was fuck a kid. With the Cowboys. You know, so I had a coat ass Cowboys hat with the <laughs> old English letters and shit when I was a kid. Shit you know what I'm saying? Right <laughs> You know, it was when they had Dion. Shit, fuck. <laughs> you know, fuck. So I never knew that. Yeah, I mean, I like I've always had Broncos stuff my whole life, but I remember like seventh grade, I had a Cowboys starter coat. But that was like I had a Broncos jersey. So yeah, that's what I was like. I still rock jerseys. I know you, you know, were I had with me for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had Eli Manning supplies. jerseys. I had you know. Well, like, that was different. That's a whole different. That time. was just players that you liked or jerseys that you. Liked. I was like, you like Eli Manning. That was no, a I whole like the, actually like the jersey. different time period when the jerseys was popular. Yeah. That's when that's something was, else. Was doing that was when the St. Lunatics it. came out. Yeah, yeah. The fabulous and all them. It was oh, like, they not suing Nelly no more either. Oh, shout out to you, Nelly. They was on stage together, him and Cheney. At the AMA. I saw that, yeah. Yeah. He I, brought was out all I was like, why does this feel like it's significant? And I was like, I don't know. Nah, so I guess we switching it. Yeah, let's no, switch over. In a commercial. But uh, so... Like a month ago, it came out that the St. Lunatics were going, were suing Nelly for fifty million for like four songs for writing credits on Country Grammar. Well, they performed at the AMAs, and he brought out like all of St. Louis. So he brought out Chingy. You know him and Chingy ain't rock with each other mm -hmm. for ever. Right there. Yeah. See, he said, he said, remember why you do that right there. <laughs> and uh, he brought out Jaquan, but he brought out all of the Lunatics except for Ali, which is the grumpy old nigga. Is, is he grumpy or he the one standing on it? Like, nah, you owe me that bread. Nah. standing on business. Nah, Ali had to. Ball, big ball yeah. head nigga. He like, you oh, owe what you owe. Nah, Ali, 
I don't know who to believe in this story per se. I didn't listen to, I didn't do my research on this, and it just sounded like they did some fucked up shit early, and they ain't get the, they never got the just business fucked straight. Fucked up paperwork, yeah. Yeah. So basically, what it is, the the story is, and they they both tell the same story. You know, they were trying to get a deal. They were trying to get a deal. Nobody signing them. So then they finally got a song that kind of blew up in St. Louis. So a local label down there signed, they signed to them. And they signed 100% of their publishing over to this company. Mm. So then... Sucker born every day. So Nelly start, Nelly got signed by, as a solo act. And Universal paid 75000 to that label to get his publishing back. So that he could drop Country Grammar, grammar and this company wouldn't see none of the money. But he's the only one who they pay for his publishing. So like on Batter Up... And all the songs where all the rest of the lunatics are on on country grammar, if you go look up the credits for it right now, it don't say they wrote none of that shit because that company, I think it's called D two, would get publishing for it. So they didn't want to get they didn't want to get put also, on. A, so so Nelly was doing some real nigga shit. Yeah, he was like, I'm just, I'm paying y'all, and just forgot to circle back around. Or basically, I, he, I took care of you. Basically, man. Nelly's yeah. like, you know, what I'm saying he like, yo. We about to put this album out. Y'all going y'all gonna to get pub. Y'all going to get all of this. You know, the label. And they like, nah, nigga, because our pub, 100% of our pub going to D2. So now they're like, cool. We All the writing credits just be me and J.E., who was the other, some dude who was a producer writer for them. And he like, I will pay y'all. I'll kick y'all out the money. 20 years later... <laughs> Country grammar then went diamond and niggas like, wait a minute, we don't get you no still, pub. You still eating. Yeah, but we don't get no pub. Yeah, and Nelly like, what do you want from me, bro? Like, I looked out for you early. I didn't fucking supply your career for 20 years. I nigga, what else y'all I, like I, I saved give. you from giving D2 that Yeah, money. it's like, what else you want from me? At what point did at what point do you say enough is enough? That's what he said. What was Nelly's best CD? Nellyville. Yeah, I was say Nellyville. The first one? The second one. The second one. Second one. Were they on that? They had songs on there. What was on? Air Force Ones. Pimp Air Force Ones was on there. Maybe they feel like one. We, we made you, nigga. Like, we well, so that's Ali's claim. He like, like, nigga, I wrote all the songs. That's what he yeah, basically I can said. see that. Like, if your best CDs was the ones we did together. No, but it's only songs on there. So Nellyville, the only song with all of them is probably Air Force Ones. I don't think it's we another song music. on the album where they got all of the lunatics on there we together. Got but I mean, right my here. thing is like if they were a group and you you were making all this music, yeah, they might not be on this song, but I'm sure they had some type of input. Yeah, but just because you had some kind of input don't mean I owe you money. I mean, shit, Beyonce be out here getting wise credit for anything. They probably she like, be I strong army niggas though. But Basically, you gotta, able, you gotta be able to perform it too though, because Ali would get up there and be like, "A better up." Well, this is Nelly's whole thing, though. He and like, Nelly, but Nelly gonna perform it. And this Nelly whole thing, like, yo, I took care of my business. My business was taken care of. My pub got bought back. Them boys. He had them on there. That that that's one classifies as the St. Louis. Just, but Murphy Lee is on there. Murphy Lee, Ali, Q on. That's the ticks. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple songs on there. Oh, yep. But he's basically like. But you can't say they. I'm not taking that. You made me, bro. Right. Like he said, he was, they was like, well, Nelly, why they just signed you? He said, because I'm a fucking star. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what you mean? Yeah. And then you ask all of them, like, yo, why Nelly blow, really blow up and like nobody else? They was like, because he already had the whole package. He looked like a rapper. He had the swag. He could rap. when He, when he didn't have to learn how to rap. He was already on top. So when the companies heard him, they was like, yeah, this the one. Mm. I, I mean, I, that's understandable, <laughs> too, yeah. but... If I'm the dude behind the dude making the dude, like, no, nah, I need mine too. Nigga, well, take care of your business, though, is what he's saying. But there's so a reason you, why you're behind the dude. So what would you do in the, in the instance pause. where they want to they want to sign Johnny to a podcast deal, but they want to change it to the JD2 show, and we just going to be around, but he get all the credit for the shit. But Hell he nah. like, but he like, nah, we're gonna do the deal, but I'm gonna take care of y'all. But how long do we hold and that's on? the thing? How long do we hold that over his head? There's other stuff in, in no, so I would never do that. I'm like, no, they can name it whatever it wants. I can I don't have to be on camera. But this Just is the thing. my money. So this is Nelly's thing, also. Part of his argument is like, yo, you know, we shopped a deal for the group for yeah. two, I'll three years. On. For two, three years. Yeah. They never they didn't want to sign the group. They signed me. Yeah. But when I came in the door, I made sure that 
you got so his first deal with I think is Universal. It's like yo, if you sell two hundred and fifty records, everybody in the ticks get their own solo album. Yep, and y'all get a group album. You know what I'm saying? So everybody get a deal basically but, but, off of my deal. But what they got? So here's my thing. Like if we started out and you said, hey, well. I'm just gonna put me and this guy down as the publishing. That way, no money goes to that company since they're taking out publishing. And I'm gonna kick y'all down this money, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, ten years later, if you still getting money from that, kick me down my money he, ten years later. And he said that. He said that. He's like, yo, I've been taking care of him for twenty years. Well, I mean, he said the, the, he said the government only make you take care of a kid for eighteen. Well, I've been <laughs> taking care of these niggas for twenty. <laughs> you ain't taking hey, that's care of like, what else you want? You me. He, but he's like, I don't owe you shit, really. You do, cause if that's what we agreed to, then you know that's. He's shit. like, I don't owe you shit. Nah, see, I don't do all that. He like, bro, I didn't get, I didn't set out everything. How much you want me to do for you? I know. At that, what point do I not gotta carry you no more? Cause, cause the thing is, you're not carrying them, cause it. If you'd have started from back in the day and said, "Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them down as pubs," that other company could have said, "Well, we're not gonna clear, it, so you ain't gonna have no CD." You know what I'm saying? No. But, but y'all did this backroom deal with you and your boys. Well, yeah, you ain't gotta put us down. That verbal but, shit. Yeah, you ain't gotta put us uh -huh. down. Just kick us that some verbal grades. shit. That's that's cool. That's cool. But don't throw it back in my face like you been taking care of me, cause you ain't. He you didn't give though. me what you owe me. You know do, but do I owe you? Like if we go to the court, I don't owe you nothing. Nah, I hold court in the street. You owe me. I don't owe you nothing. Yeah, you and I'm me. and I'm 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 getting you situations for you to do your own thing. Well, I mean, he probably he probably did. Like, like what else you want? What that. else do you want he from me, that. bro? Mur like Murphy I'm Lee. doing things. Murphy Lee signed his deal without him. He's like he signed. He didn't even sign. He wasn't signed to Dirty. He signed with Universal by himself. And like Nelly was like, I get nothing from that. I don't want nothing from that. I want my men to be able but, to stay on the Now it seems like they saying you still getting like residuals from this, but you're not kicking us hard cut. They don't. They not talking no more. Part of it. I mean, you you know until now. Check. But it's like yo, like nigga, I'm gonna get residuals for this for the rest of my life. The then damn you, thing went diamond. Then you send my money the rest of your life. I don't owe, ha, what for what? Why'd you send me money in the first? Because I said I'd take care of you. No, that's not that the root. <laughs> you sent me money because you knew I was on the album. But it, it's still me looking out for you. Yeah, well, you looking I out don't for have yourself to. too. You looking out for I yourself? I could have. He could have put out an album without them. But did he? He didn't have to. Why not? Because they wanted some of that money too. Exactly. You could have gave it to him. All I'm saying, <laughs> like, I ain't gonna keep paying you for the rest of your life, bro. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. You getting paid off my work? It's my work. It's my work too. <laughs> it's our work. Dude. It's not our work. It's Nelly's work. Nah, nah. <laughs> It's nah, not our work. When they started off, you paid me because it was our work. Twenty years later, don't say it's your Bro, work. Bro, it's still my work. You don't want to pay no more. It's I nigga, I'm not like, taking I don't care wanna, of you no more. You know, I don't want to pay you, nigga. I'm with Nelly on this, like, if bro. I, I gave you twenty, bro. If, if if I if I bring you along with me, get you your own deal, make you a millionaire. How much more? How much more do I need to do? So if I'm if if Nelly's getting, bro, y'all said check, it like they no, didn't I'm, put I'm, in I'm, no work. No, no, I'm not. I'm not negating anything. I'm asking you. So if you're Nelly and uh, you're getting a check for country grammar every year or all the shit that they did for 500 grand. What are you giving to them? Whatever I was giving you in the, the first year, I got the 500 grand. Okay, so what if Whatever I, was just I like, kicked you down the first time is what you get kicked down every time. So what if, we what get if, paid so, for okay, so what if it was like, I got a meal for all of y'all, but he's only getting a check for $500,000 now? Well, I mean, look, so the money's different now. So then you give me that same percentage. So now, it ain't hard. It man. just has to just diminish over I time by like, something. Just give you money, nah. put you on the payroll. Dude, listen. If they start off and they said he said, look, everybody's getting a million dollars from this album, right? When the money go down, of course, you're not getting a million no more. Now you might be getting 500000 Right. Now you might only be getting 60000 The thing is, whatever we get, and I understand, we get the same cut. So the same I'm percentage. down to getting ten grand. You want your stack. If you only getting ten grand, then you send my thousand. Damn. Why why all of a sudden you don't owe me the money because the money became less? Like that. I never sense. owed you the money though. I just was giving you money because you my nigga. No, he did give them money because they. Yes, he niggas. did. He did. He's not contractually obligated to give them nothing. Yeah, but but no. We could have went to court twenty years ago, and I still would have won. Did. But he, he, he didn't. No, he did. A, he did yeah. a deal with his people. I'm looking sure, out for y'all to make sure they didn't. Have I'm making to. sure we all get money. Yeah. Just like you say, whenever I call, whenever somebody called me to do a show, they don't call and say, "Yo, I want Nelly and the St. Lunatics." 
500000 They call and say, I want Nelly. And then I show up with the lunatics and I give them money out of my show. They want me. I don't have to that's bring true. y'all. That's I've true. been looking out for y'all for 20 years. That's, Figure look, it out. That's the part where he looking out. All I'm saying. Always looking out. The first album we said, you know, that was pretty much all of them on the first album. It was only four songs. Don't matter, bro. If that's if you, if, you get, if you get paid for them four songs, give me my bread, bro. You don't. I don't owe you that bread, though. That's the whole thing. I don't owe you that money. Am I'm giving you that something? money. I'm giving you that money because you my nigga. I did something to keep you from paying a publishing company, right? They not the publishing company not gonna stop you from putting out the music. They, they was, not a but if, wait, wait. They if, just, if, it's just if, any money that if, you make from this music is gonna go to them and not you. Yeah, if he had Y'all saying that writers. now? What twenty years later? Yeah. But he didn't. If, if that's the case, he should have did that way and said, "Fuck him." Twenty years ago. But he's like, but "These my didn't. niggas. I'm taking care of my niggas." Yeah, you didn't. You gave me my cut. So because keep I was, giving my because goddamn I was cut. Looking out to I keep gave you a cut and shit. I set you up to be able to stand on your own. It's not my fault. You don't want so to. So you saying basically like your cut got an expiration date? I'm like, yo, nigga. I, that's what I y'all set saying. You, I set you up all to right. stand on your own. You don't have no cut. First of all, I made you. You my nigga, so I'm I'm breaking you off. But you don't have no cut. So how would you have to start with a cut? Though? You don't got no cut. <laughs> so how would you? Have, so so what would you? How would you look at the story now if if it was on the reverse in, in this in today? If there was like man, Nelly didn't Nelly could have just cut us in on the back end and we had to pay this publishing deal. So now we ain't barely making shit. You know you so signed the contract. I'm getting a check for twelve hundred dollars a month because because you got the publishing. You know what I'm saying? But, then, but like, I'm if, not. I'm but if not, I saved you from doing that and now you fucked up. But I put you up so you wouldn't be fucked up. I'm not how mad gonna, either way. Gonna... I'm saying, look, here's what I'm saying. Nelly might have said, look, if I do it, go through them, maybe they will clear the songs and I can put it out on my own and y'all don't get shit. He probably could have did that. He didn't. He, he wouldn't say, okay, I'm just going to do it as me and this guy. We'll get all the money. Then I'll kick y'all down a, a cut. That's what he did, right? To save you from doing some yeah, other shit, Yeah, but he, right? that's what he agreed to. I'm going to kick y'all down a cut because y'all contributed to this album. Right? Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is that cut has no expiration date. The song as long writers, as you get money from that, give me my nah. cut. That's so the it. Songwriters nah. still get paid out no matter what. Right. I understand yeah. how they, they, get work. they get royalties. But they like, do. But if you wanted that, you could you could have went that you way. You should have just went and got your publisher. You could have went that way. And we could have just made it all different. You would have still been feeling fucked up if you had went that way because you would have been like, damn now I ain't got no bread. So you would have expected him to sign that deal back then. I'm gonna still give you some money because I don't want to see my no, boy I'm fucked not, up. No, if he would have went there, if if Nelly back then would have said, "I'm just gonna go to this company A, tell them, hey, I want to put out this song, clear the song, y'all get the publishing for these niggas that wrote it because they fucked up and did a bad deal," I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care at all. But the thing was, you tried to bypass that and make a deal with your homies, and you did, and you paid up on the deal. My thing is the deal ain't got no expiration date. Nah, deal got an expiration date. At, at some point, you got to be like, man, that nigga done did enough. You know what I'm saying? He like, didn't, but you said he did enough. Like he, he just like give him out the grace of his fucking heart. He not. No, nah, but he really but is like, though. But it's like, but it's he's like, not legally contracted to give them nothing. But it's like, but it's like, all right, man, Johnny done gave me. I'm like, did, you, did they agree to our backdoor deal? The the did I mean, the other yes, niggas did. agree to our they backdoor took, they deal? Took the bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they took the bread. Yeah, like yeah, okay, so that they, they cool with it, right? Well, okay, so look, if he just said I'm only gonna do this for five years, bro, you bet, cool. you're not thinking of that. You're, you're not like, thinking like that. At that point, you're not even people. knowing that you're gonna go diamond. But so you're like, like shit, I'm happy me. to I'm happy to sell t- a ten thousand record. I'm just putting my, my niggas point. on. Yeah. Let me ask y'all this: so like, say we all did something and we made some money off of, and they said, all right, we're just gonna write the check to Lindari. I said, cool, I'll just give y'all y'all 25%. Yeah. Cause we thought it was gonna be a one time thing, whatever. But say it gets syndicated. Now it's on Netflix. They say, oh well, and there, here go another check 20 years ago. Well, later. first of all, that they can't do that because our paperwork is right. Well, I'm just saying, but <laughs> yeah. But for somehow, like, like they, you can't they can't write you a check for the No, but I'm saying they they give you the check podcast. 20 years later, you're gonna say, Well, no, you don't owe us 25% because it's 20 years. No, the the deal was we get twenty five percent. Don't matter when you get that money. Nah, that's not the same. It's the, the to me the principle is the same. If you get paid for this and you offer me a cut, are you you supposed to give me a cut? That's just in perpetuity, man. Nah, that's, that's not the same. That's that is not perpetuity. Yeah, it don't stop because what? Why does it stop? Because what? It because I be, said so. Nah, then you can die. Fuck that. What are you talking about? Damn. Man, get, now okay. You know, people be yeah. dying for less. Like you can't just be like, yo, I know you did this work. I, I was giving you your proceeds from the work, but now I'm just not going to get you. Nigga, you don't have no proceeds. 
You been paying me, so I because I'm you. your nigga. Nah, nah. <laughs> I've been paying you out the grace of my heart. Like I don't have to give you nothing. Nah. But you know, we came up together. These my best friends. I've been knowing this was elementary. You the, the you the big homie. Yeah, we up now. The, nah, the, the, the squad is up now. I don't you agree would, with that. Or you would look at it like, all right, back in the day, he he, he I, I got up to five mil off of this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like he put me up. So does that not not count for this? You know what I'm saying? I gave you this back then. So I this is just this is just my way of thinking you just paying me back. I don't look at like you 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 gave me nothing. Yeah, I might have had some bad paperwork and you helped me out and gave me the money on the side. But you didn't give me the money just because we friends. You gave me the money because of the work I put in to this because, thing over but here. Because we friends though. That's why you gave me the money. Because we friends. No, did he give all his friends a cut of that? He gave this the four the people in his group. The people friends. that contributed to that. Right? Yeah. He didn't give all his friends a cut. He gave his four he friends. He gave the home. niggas that contributed to that a cut. True. Okay, so why'd you give them a cut, and not all your friends? Because I didn't want you to have to go through that fucked up. No, deal. because all your friends didn't contribute to that. Oh, okay, yeah. So, okay, so, so as you long as you get money from what I did. So in my mind, I'm like, nigga, I gave you what you deserved. They didn't think you Because you didn't deserve that. shit. And I gave you what you deserved. Nah, I don't. I mean, once you. And then we can go to court. <sighs> How yeah, you, how you yeah, and who gonna win? How you think it's gonna play Me, because your dumb ass ain't do your damn publishing no, right. Do corner streets, it, nigga. So, <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's how it's gonna be. Like, nigga, what you talking you about? I mean, I just don't know. You can't. That seems shady to me. It don't seem shady, shady to me. It's like, yo, bro. Like, like you was cool with paying me you? all that time, but now, like, you just like, oh, you don't, you don't get it, your. Cup? I paid you and I set you up to make your own money, and I, I, not, I literally was paying you out of my cut for twenty years. Maybe it's the way y'all said it because y'all saying like your own money, like nigga, we didn't write these songs with you. Like, we, did oh, we not write these songs? with Okay, you? so. And that you did is, and okay that, then, but is, is you don't right. even own you don't even own the own shit you writing. Oh, but here's some that, other niggas own that. Here's my thing though, like <laughs> you saying like okay, are, is Nelly paying the other company to publish? He don't owe them no publishing. Who owns the publishing? Nelly owns his own publishing. No, but I'm saying Nelly didn't write the songs by itself, right? So who else gets the publishing besides D two will own the publishing? So the other company that owns the same yeah. Company. Is Nelly paying them? No. Okay. Because so they you, didn't, they they said we don't want oh, exactly to. exactly that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you not, not keeping all it's the It's not bread, my nigga. fault that you didn't take no. care of your business. No, that, you blaming me for not taking care of your business? No, but here's the thing: you telling me you're not gonna pay me, or you're not gonna pay the niggas you' supposed to pay? Dude, I'm not. That's I, you telling me. I took care of my business. That's you telling me. This is the thing. So say D two come to Nelly back then and say, "Yo, you gonna have to pay us." If you want these niggas on the song, guess mm -hmm. what? You niggas is out of here. Y'all ain't got no song now. It's my song. I do all five verses if I have to. <laughs> what are we talking about here? Like well, I mean, you can't, can't do, you can't. Then they yes, you can. Well, you gonna you gonna? They were gonna do that to him. You gonna perform some, some somebody else wrote and say you don't that, have, no? That. I will take y'all verses off of this song and just record two more verses. <laughs> well, that's a, that's what I'm saying. He could have. He but y'all my niggas. So I'm he like, did. yo, we up. Or it could have been like he wasn't that nice. But Nelly was that nice. I don't know. They said they helped him write most of the shit. They helped him write four songs. He sold uh, 10 million, 12 million albums. I don't know, man. <laughs> he, I don't know. he sold 12 million albums on his first one. I have a problem with the fact that, look, you said from the jump, all if, right, we're going we're gonna to get them out of here. If Nelly was a one hit wonder, I can understand that. No, man. Because you but, we but, gonna get them out Nelly, of here. It's helping you, yeah. not me. But now, but y'all <laughs> saying basically, like, now he keep the whole thing. You me, ain't giving me a cut. Out of there is and you ain't you. giving D two a cut. No, I don't owe them nothing. Because we, I don't owe you nothing. Here's the thing: you don't owe D two. I don't owe anybody anything. But he doesn't owe D two. I really don't owe you. We agreed that we're gonna just say you did this. And it, it, so now that, I don't owe you. Isn't that why he don't owe D two? Yes. So you saying in court, like he can say I don't owe them because. I'd be like, look, you can look at the contract, sir. Yeah, but you, <laughs> let's but just Nelly look at the knows, contract, man. sir. Know what he agreed we to, can you know? look at the contract, sir. But Nelly knows that. Sure, but I'm like, you can look at the okay, contract, well, sir. That's all I'm saying. Like at the end of the day, Nelly, if you if you that type of fuck nigga, like, oh, I don't know, I never agreed to this. Just look at the contract. Then you can die. That's crazy to me. You gonna do I'm your? Like, you trying like to that? you trying to heal me up for plus twenty plus? Is crazy to me. 
I'm trying to hit 50, me up for money that million. I earned. You trying to pull, you trying to hit me up for twenty years is crazy to me. And not to mention all the stuff I've done for you for the last twenty years. That's a smack in the face to me. Nah, I'm like nigga, you still be a broke nigga in St. Louis if it wasn't for me. But they wouldn't though. Why wouldn't they be? Because they wrote your fucking album. I don't need you to do that though. I see. I don't. That's kind of revisionist history. Like you can't say after the album blew up, I didn't need you to write the album, nigga. Bro. Well, you you use the songs. He used four, you used the four song. songs. You wrote four songs on like a 15, 16 song album. I don't care if you used one. You used it. Okay, but so that goes back to the, what I'm saying though. Like, yo, we could have did this the right way. Right? But you've been giving money to the outsiders. The right uh, way. So not, what? Not, not me. You You, you would have been giving money you to them. Been getting the yeah, check. I wouldn't have been doing shit. I, I got 100% of my pub. I would have made all my money and you would have been broke. So I would have ended up having to take care of you anyway, huh? No. Because you would. So, we could have well, did this the right way. Just, just, we, just I, go back to this. We could have did this the right way. We could have went wait, in there. Let me ask y'all this. We, we could have went in there. No, we're not. What is let the right me, way? Let me, when you say I'm the about right to way. say, we could have did this the right way. We could have went in there. I got my pub. Universal paid for my pub. I'm yes. good over here. And we could have said, hey, D2. Kiwan, Murphy Lee, and Ali got writing credits on 40 songs. These songs, and there we go. Every year, you get your statements for the RIAA or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah. You get your statements, D2, this is y'all money. Mm-hmm. Now you ass out, right? Okay, yeah, true. And I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah now you're going to feel And like now you're looking at me like I'm but crazy. No, but, no, but it keep going, because now 20 years later. You stay still can have the money. Yeah, but now, that's what I'm saying. But now you tell me Nelly ain't giving nobody the money. He don't owe nobody the money. And y'all like, oh, it makes sense to me. How long yeah. is he supposed to pay him for? How, for that's life? what I'm saying. He, he basically Wait, if he, if he, he did it the right way, how long would he pay D2 for? He would pay him for life. What's the difference? But they ain't do it that way. What's the difference? It's a difference. You get these motherfuckers money for life, but your own people, you like, I'm going to screw I mean, y'all give me, I didn't made you millions of dollars. Nah, see, that, see I don't know. <laughs> I made like you that. millions no, of I dollars, do bro. What are we talking about? I can't do that, man. That is crazy to me. I can't like, do bro, that. you would be broke, broke without I me. I can't do that. <laughs> like, y'all, broke, bro. Y'all literally sit here saying, basically, like, if we would have did it right, I have no problem paying this outside company. I wouldn't even be paying them. They were just getting they, they They'd be getting their money for life. Yeah, they get their points. Right? But that ain't got no problem to do with, with me. me. I have no problem them getting their money for life. But the fact that we made this little side hustle, I don't want to pay y'all for life. If 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 Next Chris topic. if Chris hit <laughs> if Chris hit one of his lineups that he put in our group chat, would you want a piece of that if you if you said something? If he put a lineup in a group chat, and was like, nah, take this person, I take that person. Would you want? A piece oh yeah, of you that? gonna at least bring a jack stack dinner in here. Yeah, but that's a one time payment. Yeah, okay. So but if I win a hundred thousand, if he wins a million dollars, I buy you that, twenty dollars. Does he have meal. to pay you for the rest? How long does he have no. to pay you for that? But you, you Jack Stack, you, you cool for that, right? No, but if they give him a million every year, they bring Jack Stack every year. Mm. Like what you mean? I don't think so, bro. <laughs> what y'all talking I don't about? Think that's how that that works. That sounds crazy to me. Y'all like, that's yo, how that works. you you can do this work, and I'm gonna pay you for the work because you did the work, and they paid me for it. So I'm, I'm gonna not, pay I'm you for you because you my dog. That's mm. why I'm paying you. Okay, we'll I don't owe you that money. Agree to disagree. I, yeah, y'all y'all some like, dirty motherfuckers. Call it what man. you want. I'm paying you because you my dog. I don't owe you nothing. Y'all some dirty motherfuckers. So now another guy go out here been out here and, and dirty his name up. Like, oh, we never had no agreement. Nah, he not saying that. He never said that. I don't owe them nothing. Nah, he's just like, yo, they signed over their pub. I don't know what you want from me. Ooh. I don't know what you want from me, Judge. They Ooh. signed over their pub. Mm. I hate to see it. Now. I hate to. I hate to see you go down. That's why you gotta take care of your business early. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. That's tough. Don't we try to do shady deals? You saying it like Nelly ain't the one that did the shady deal too? It seemed like he did all right. That don't make it right though. Like I. Just because, like, I came out ahead don't make it right. It ain't that I came. I'm not screwing you over, though. Like, I'm sure I pay you well, well more than what you, whatever the pub for that is. I'm sure I made you way more money than that. I don't know if we sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. I don't know if we are. Yeah. Did y'all know people think the hurricanes are fake and man-made? Yes. I just found that out today. What? They think it's a machine out in the ocean that creates the weather. There's people that think they've been calling, like, uh, meteorologists threaten them like stop the fucking hurricane we're gonna kill you 
I ain't know it was that bad. Oh, One right. meteorologist uh, posted some shit like, y'all, it's, it's sad I gotta post this, but like, we don't control the, the, the hurricane. It has the power of 10,000 nuclear bombs. There's no way we can control that. That's crazy. Why y'all think that? I just told you, it's people that think that it's a machine. I don't know the name of it, but I've heard this for 10 years at least, probably longer. It's a machine out in the middle of the ocean that controls the weather. News to me, I said this is. Newsflash, buddy. Newsflash. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do, I have heard of that. No. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just like everything else, the flat earthers and all of that stuff. But I mean, like, that's just like. I think that's crazy too, but I'm like, I ain't never been in space, so I'll give you like a little. Iota, but like the flat earth, wouldn't you eventually fall off of Iota. it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they say the, uh, they say you can't go past the I last fall. layer of it because of Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, but aren't those melting now? I've heard that too. I think that's the Arctic, right? That's polar. I mean, uh, global warming. The polar is, ice caps, is, is, is man. The polar ice caps is melting. Polar bears gonna be Antarctica is actually like land though. It's just covered in ice. It's a continent, Even if you, okay, yeah. so if you drive past that <laughs> <It's at> land <laughs> and you well, go you like up on Arctic, land, it's just ice, ain't no land. True. Still, the land should be falling off into space. Then that's just like Greenland. If it's ice. flat, like, look, you preach it to the choir, Chris. Don't look. No, I'm ice. just saying. I'm trying to put that out there. So you debunking just, flat earthers right now? Of course. Yeah. With the hiccups, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe we ever been to space? There's oh people that God. don't believe that. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of people that don't believe a lot of stuff, man. The people that don't believe went to space, I'm like, okay, like I can kind of listen. I'll I'll go with you down this rabbit hole for a little bit. I don't trust the government on everything, but yeah, like some you can't like physically prove. Well, I guess you can. They left a damn thing up there. You can ping off of it on the moon to say like it's still there. I'm pinging off of it, but like a, a hurricane, like to be like, oh no, you niggas making hurricanes. What is it for? Like, I just think it's sad that it, that should just be tearing Florida ass up all the time. Well, you mean, see what it did to uh, Tropicana Field? Yeah, yeah, fuck that up. Tore the roof off, yeah. roof off yeah. that joint. They said they really that raised that the roof sucks. on that. It's gonna be a while before they can bro. probably play too in there soon? again. That's too soon, bro. Raised, they they raised the roof on that joint. Not in there, did they? Yeah, that in was a, Florida. But that was like uh, the medical relief. Where yeah, I saw I, I yeah. saw a oh, picture. No shit. Yeah. yeah, I they saw told a me picture. That flimsy ass stadium. They I had, saw a picture. I'm like, what is all that grits looking stuff down there? They was like, those are the cots for all the pe- the response yeah. people that went down there the to help. The first responders. The first. I was like, yeah. what? Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Florida, I mean, Florida got hit twice. You know what I'm saying? Florida get hit all the time. Though. I know, but this one was kind of. You know what? It's normally <sighs> like one good one they come through. Remember. It, Last year they had the one, they showed that picture, and it was only like one house still standing. Mm-hmm. They did all the interviews with the dude. He's like, no, I built my house hurricane-proof and shit. I feel like they got Nigga, I saw a picture today. I want to pick that shit up. I saw a picture today where, nigga, you know the toe straps you put on the back of yeah, the truck? Yeah, I, oh, I saw that too. Nigga tied down his I house with that. those joints. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, that, ain't fair. hey, that shit staying down, boy. <laughs> did they up there do an update on that? I have. I just seen the, I mean, the initial picture. Like the wind get I don't. I mean, I think it's still a goner. You know? I, say, I don't know. Do you, I mean, know how, you know how far you gotta you put the post to, in there. You can have some to shit like, in the ground, but like, they gotta go deep. Yeah, you can do like some gotta, highway shit and, and do like a drill shaft. You gotta go deep. Yeah, I bet if you get like, what do you think, like seven feet, you probably be good. Nah, you need more 15. than that. You think so? 15, yeah. Twenty. 20. I'm, I work in structural engineering. Yeah. You need a little bit more. Yeah, boy. That. <laughs> That'd be shit. You go down seven, see that motherfucker fly up. You need yeah. bit, bit, some some ties in that joint. You That's need a lot. Bottom. You need a lot. You need some piers. You need a lot. Oh, that's you gonna need some. Yeah. But they also had to do that. They call Lieutenant Dan. Who's like, I seen that? He's he like, like, I ain't, I ain't going, going nowhere. I'm gonna be on. A, I'm gonna be. In I the saw boat. that story. That motherfucker. He said, "I'm not going to no hotel unless it's a he said, butt God, naked lady in there." God I don't want to joke about me. this too much because no, it is yeah, people yeah. losing yeah. their lives in this like, God told me to be. But that here dude's crazy. That dude is crazy. I feel like it was misleading. I'm gonna just put it like this. I'm a bitch, bro. If I'm watching the news, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm watching Breaking the news, news and they like, <laughs> they like hurricane so and so to hit landfall on Wednesday, yeah, could possibly be the biggest hurricane to hit landfall in here. fifty years, yeah. nigga. I'm out. I'm going. Wait, to- but I think it's like uh, I'm leaving. 
the boy to cry wolf type shit too though. If it don't happen, that's cool. I'm still cool. I'm still gonna either. leave. I'm going. Well, to I North mean, like Dakota. if you live in Florida, they, like you said, they have hurricanes all the time. I don't give a damn. And all the time they be like, "Oh, it's gonna be a big one. Oh, it got downgraded to a tropical storm right before." And it then hit. I'll come back. Cause like, wasn't this one just a tropical storm right until it hit? Nah, it was a. It was two. It the first one was. It went to a three. To a four. To a five. Back to a three, then a four, then a five. And then, then it was yeah. going down again, wasn't it? Yeah. Because well, I mean, it wasn't going to die. It's going to lose power. But, but it loses power right before it hits. Then it ramps up, and then it goes back down, obviously. I think it's just like here, and they be like, yo, you know, how many times have we seen the thing on your phone flash flood? I ain't never been like, oh, flash flood. Since 93, 92, whenever that yeah, was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, if you in Florida, it's just like, what do they Oh, hurricane coming. Nah. People just I nailed the windows. Like I'm out, bro. I mean, I think some people are like, oh, well, you know, let me just go on up to Howard and my cousins. How they talking about it might get bad, bad. But I'm rolling. I think you're going to have them people like, dude, we do this every year. What y'all talking I'm about? I'm not doing that. It's probably, I, I guarantee you, some people there. Oh, you it's hell people. That's why they down there rescuing people. Yeah. Like, because it's hell yeah, people. Like, we just ride this one I'm out. good. We're going to put sandbags down, put boards on the windows. It's, yeah, of course. But yeah, I think it, they, they just be like, you know what? It's going to be cool. But I think what gets them is like the storm surge. Yeah. Because, like, you can, like, ride out high wind, but the water come up 15 fucking feet. Yeah, like, it's Jesus bad. Christ, you like, I've seen, I've seen uh, videos on Twitter where people's houses are just, like, washing away and shit. Like, and then they, you, you I know heard saying, down there, like, you can't get hurricane insurance. Yeah, that's what I'm be thinking. Like, your house you know, is just fucking gone, game. bro. That's, that insurance game. Boy, that's Reg. Sick. <laughs> you my <laughs> dog. <laughs> went up, bro. A lot sick, of people though. have been saying that. A lot of people have been saying they car, uh, yeah, What's like we on? let's talk about what's going on. Get Reggie ass on the phone. Man. <laughs> I don't know. Mine's, Fuck all that other mine's shit. going the other way. <laughs> Get him on the phone, bro. I need answers. But you also can't replace like personal property, like you know, like like real personal stuff, like pictures, like, pictures, or yeah, the 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 stuff. Yeah, yeah. This this shit don't matter, but the, yeah. the pictures of the kids and or old and your grandma's know. pearls and shit like that. Yeah, That's the but stuff don't that, that come with the game though, man? Like. Stuff. No, but you can't actually the sentimental value that, of it. Right, yeah, I feel like that, if you move like to Florida along the beach, nah, you know I they got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't that type. I ain't that sentimental type, bro. Everything can go wrestle with me. Like if you move to the mountains where they got wildfires, you know, like oh, it could possibly be a wildfire. Like, you know, that's just come with it. Yeah, and I'm still on the same thing. Like yo, they be like yo, the fire man it might reach the crib by next week. I'm gonna dampen that sand, that soil, and I'm up out of there. To dampen that soil. Yeah, that shit gonna uh, evaporate for the fire. I'm gonna dampen that now. soil and I'm getting the hell up out of there. Like it, it is what it is, you know. I, I'm not. It's only so much. I'm not a do. natural disaster type of guy. I mean, you know I, I bet it's, you got a lot of people. They yeah, like, oh, you know, we time. rode out this hurricane last year. We rode out that hurricane. We are gonna I ride this ride now. Shit. You got I me. Mean, <laughs> That's just I'm not like, doing you know, it, bro. We don't we don't deal with hurricanes, you know. But that's they, what I'm saying. But like they like tornado watch, you don't be like go sleep. I in just the basement. feel like that's different though, too. It's different it for us because we used to tornado watches. Yeah, but I'm also not used to seeing tornadoes. We've never had nothing. Do like nothing I've never crazy. seen a tornado in person. As much as we've had tornado, whatever. Like these niggas see this shit all the time. Which is probably why they was like, we can handle this one. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I'm never to able it. to handle any yeah, of them. Yeah, basically, no. they desensitized, <laughs> they desensitized to it. Yeah, it. I'm out on that. That'd be like when the tornado, like, like he's right, like the tornado watch, you hear the sirens and shit. I remember Tanisha called her dad, was like, Daddy, I heard it's going to touch down at least something. He was like, Baby, I'm not worried till the birds move. The birds in the tree. Uh, He's like, because when the birds move, I know the shit's serious. <laughs> like, you like hear said, the sirens. I'm like, desensitized oh, to I don't even I go out and look up. Like, I don't see it. In I my whole see life, one. the first time Nigga. I ever, like, even tripped off of a tornado was like a year ago or a little bit over a year ago. We yeah, all went downstairs. We, was all fucked up. we all went downstairs. Other than that, like, I'm like, fuck a tornado. I don't. But a, a hurricane but, but ain't the heard, same thing. But you heard there were sirens before, you, like yeah. And I just be like, whatever. But exactly. if you never, but I ain't never seen a tornado. That's what I'm saying. Like if I seen a tornado, I'd be like, yo, that shit, wow, bro, I'm out of here. <laughs> they've seen the hurricane. <laughs> I never seen a tornado. It's just a before. different type of natural thing. I think. It's ah, like, I'm cool. It's we just like, like, oh, don't worry. They like, oh, we got a hurricane coming. What's it gonna be? A three? It's just like like my wife said it was an earthquake in Kansas yesterday. I ain't hear about this. I don't know what time. I don't know. I, I ain't Nigga, get the, all time? the details. I was in Kansas yesterday. How you feel? Yeah, I'm like, I'm about to say, I didn't get all the details. I'll ask you her later. Or you <laughs> but I'm like, yo, if I was in a place where earthquakes were a little bit more common, I'm I'm the fuck out of there. 
You I'm leaving? Not, yes. Mm-hmm. What do you mean leaving? Like you been living I am moving. Somewhere else, bro. Yes. <laughs> I, I would said, never if, live in California, if, nigga. If I lived in California <laughs> and it was three or four, three or four uh, summers in the wildfires, I'm out of there. So I'm like, let's make locked in the basement with a girl. Let I can't tell you. if her body is really her. <laughs> would you rather the earthquake, tornadoes, hurricanes? I would what rather else, wildfires. I would rather the tornadoes because I never Drought. seen it before. I would right. rather no matter where you live in the country, I'm gonna sell that fucking like what. I'd rather none of that shit. <laughs> well, I mean, depending on where you live, you're dealing with something. That's why I live here. So you like, I'd rather deal with the tornado. Because I ain't never seen it before. To me, it's a myth. No, fuck it. <laughs> don't, don't do that, bro. Because the last myth. Look, the last time niggas was saying shit was a myth, niggas was dropping like flies with that fucking COVID. Niggas didn't think shit was real. I ain't, I ain't play with that COVID. Shit. That COVID. What would you well, rather boy. deal with? Nigga dealing with that drink over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, for sure. I, f- I feel like we're like, not we're like, obviously you're not cool anywhere, but like in the middle here, we're the safest. And not really. Sense. No, we like, we don't like a great fault line. Like, it's some shit that could pop off here that kill everybody. Yeah, like earthquake it's happened. A kill it's, everybody. It's, it's, it's a wrap. What? It's like it was, what? they like it was. If if it, that fault line was to ever shift, like they would feel it like all the way out to the coast. Oh. It's like that bad. And we like right in the middle of it. So we'll feel it worse. I ain't never seen that. Nah, you never seen it. You know. I ain't never seen it. The day you see it, you'll know. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that shit happened. Yeah, the the, the day you see that boy, you didn't see everything for that like time. (laughs) It was probably about 10, 12 years ago. I remember the you know, TV was going crazy. Mom's calling, Y'all feel that earthquake? I'm like, shit, I just got up. I ain't feel shit. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, we ain't really had to deal with shit. The Titanic plates. I felt the earthquake. The tectonic, the tectonic shit bro. Oh, tectonic. <laughs> I just was gonna roll by that, bro. That's his, char- <laughs> that's his that. character, bro. That's his character. I think he really be trying. But y'all yeah. ain't think the government's causing tornadoes, do you? No, no. Okay, I, I, sure. I don't. I, I don't be thinking. I'm not into like the conspiracy yeah. theory yeah. stuff. Well, like I believe that. some. I think no, they killed some Martin. Of stuff is, but Martin Luther King. Hell yeah! I think the FBI did that. Why? Man, there's a lot to it. I'm asking. There's a lot to it, bro. We <laughs> got enough time, Skip. No, nah, I'm asking you. They cause... had they was keeping files and tabs on Marvin, like you know, like Martin, he, but Martin, 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 yeah, Martin. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying, like they didn't like him, you know, like oh, he uniting them and shit. I look at. I that think it was was it though, Hoover. Man. I look at that different though. He, yeah, I look at that different because when you look at Martin Luther King, it was like it was a point where it seemed like he was. Doing, he was like going on a path, or it was like uniting people. But then at at some point, it just seemed like he was just kind of like pawning a little bit. You bet, I know. I ain't not going all the way because, but it, it just at some point nah, the message man, changed. changed. The too? message changed, man. I think. It, I mean, we all know it more causing, more the whole it ended up but... causing some things that we still deal with today. Honestly, he was one of them niggas that had the kids on the other side of town. You nigga had your hand in Malcolm X pocket. Sound like Malcolm X was cool. Nah, the, I mean, I feel we, like Mal- Malcolm you X like a little violence with your people. Malcolm huh? X and Martin Luther King are like Caitlyn Clark and Andrew Reese. You what need them the both. <laughs> <laughs> you need them both, or this just to work. <laughs> but the FBI was I like, I need them both. <laughs> hey, he ain't lying. I believe in that conspiracy theory, but it ain't many more I kind of go with. What? Caitlyn believe- Clark's a man. I do not believe. No, that. bro. Oh, what the crazy. fuck you say that for? <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one y'all believed in got debunked. Which what was, one that? was that? The the spaceships. I still believe in aliens. What though. spaceships? That we what? saw the spaceships. Oh yeah. Me and you. Oh yeah, that was, was uh, uh, Starlink. Starlink. Yeah. That's not. A spaceship. I still believe. But I still believe they're in satellites. Aliens. I still believe in aliens. Yeah. Though. Don't get it fucked up. Just ain't seen one yet. Yeah. But I was fucking convinced. I was too. <laughs> I I've was never y'all seen just, y'all hella like, gullible. Like, all right, so nobody what, told us this. Though. We came is, up with this ourselves. What is, what is what is your alien look like? Does it look like Independence I don't know. Day? Nah, because I don't know that part. I, I think it know. might just be looking like an ant, honestly, like a tiny ass ant. What? Yeah, you got such. An See, that's why I'm asking these questions because I think that you could, what the fuck? What? <laughs> how's it? How's an ant gonna drive a spaceship? <laughs> well, it's a little spaceship, bro. <laughs> yeah. Or what if he's driving it with his mind? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like maybe we the like primitive Professor niggas X. and we using our hands for a fucking thing. Professor That's nasty, X. actually. I feel just feel like you know it's just too much. If, if we believe in space, like we say we do, 
I just believe it's too much space out here for us to be the only shit That's moving. Fine, oh, yeah, moving. I believe in that, yeah. You, you know can't tell me, like, it take light a hundred years to go from here to there. It ain't nothing else in between there. Like, you tell, ain't shit in between there to eat a sandwich. I just don't, <laughs> I, I don't believe that. Uh, you cannot convince me that. There's no way. Yeah. And it's in the Bible. You think it's black up there like, <laughs> they, like they always portray? I don't know because it's I, space black? I saw yeah. something that made Wait, me question no, no, that. I saw off of me unless you buy a planet or something. I saw so. something that seen, that kind of made me think about that too, but I don't know because it's like if the sun can light up the earth, it don't light up space. Well, because this light reflects off our atmosphere, but ain't nothing to reflect off of in space unless you buy a celestial. Mm. So it reflects planet. through our atmosphere. Debunked. Yeah. So we living in a magnifying glass. No. What? In a bowl. We get into some uncharted waters here. <laughs> like, if you went to the moon, uh, it reflects off the moon. Yeah, it, it's got something like. But the you moon gotta have something to reflect off of. The moon just a rock. That's what they say. Because you land on the moon, you don't enter the moon. The moon is just a rock. We just a moon? rock. We the third rock from the sun. Yeah. yeah we, oh, it's a, it's a show, show like that. It's TV show. Yeah. With aliens. Yeah, we a rock when we got shit around that rock. What's around the rock? Molten. Us, nigga. The everything. The earth. The the, the water. But it's we just, just a like the little the dimples day. in the rock. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I think I'm ready to go. Nah, I should have stayed, stayed, stayed home. I tell y'all, right. right. like, space what? is dark until you get by something. Wait, so what do aliens eat? I don't know, Because it ain't no habitat, though. Bro, there. somewhere in this universe. Oh, Alf. Alf ate cats. It's a, it's an alien. Alf ate cats? Yeah, it's he an alien to podcast it. going on. Them niggas yeah, like, they probably the like, yeah, what you on that blue eat? eat? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, you tell me these niggas out here touching everything with their fucking hands. I, he like, yeah, they don't know how to open the door with their brain. Like, that's crazy. But what do you have hands for? Hands for if you don't if you don't need them? I why do we got a spleen? Yeah. I don't know what does it do. Nothing. nothing. It don't do nothing. Nothing. Come on, keep up now. Keep your third <laughs> eye open, dog. Keep your third eye open, man. But if that motherfucker bust. Why would God, why would God give you a spleen then? I yeah, think it's uh, they say it's left over from evolution or something like that. It's left over from evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nigga. Hey, we are the weird ones tonight. I tell you that, Jack. That's I still can't topics. get over him thinking that aliens are ants. They could be. What do you think they gotta be big and tall or what? Yeah, to drive a big old spaceship. Who says it's got to be a big spaceship? If you saw a spaceship. <laughs> Who says it's got to be a spaceship? From down here but I think all the way up there. It's a big spaceship. A spaceship. Wait, though. hold on. How big is a ship? Like, like an oil a, tanker. Like a cruise ship? It's an oil tanker. Yeah, it's fucking huge. huge. Yeah. How big are humans? Little. Man, I rest my case. I think your spleen might be damaged. What? What yeah. you talking about? You web them dead niggas now? <laughs> <laughs> Man, cut this motherfucking pot. You said it don't do nothing. But the, if the spleen isn't working properly, it may start to remove the healthy blood cells, which can cause, which can lead to anemia and increased risk of infection, mm. bleeding, or bruising. You do be cold all the time. You bruise easy, too. Yeah, you do. I don't it's, bruise easy. Bitch what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like niggas put but their you hands always, on me. But you always sick, though. You are. No, I'm not. And you always cold. What? Y'all making shit up. <laughs> you anemic? Man, no, I say it get rid of the healthy blood cells and it keep your blood regular. That's what Bro, so they can cut your spleen out tomorrow and you wouldn't notice. So it does do something. All right. People yeah, it kill you. That's all it do. Blue. It kill you. Well, take yeah. your spleen out then. People do it all the time. What are you the making like said, you? Go home, take your spleen yeah. out. Two Monaco's, you won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now watch hey, this. We might have a problem. Hey, he come next week with some ice. Oh, you owe me four because you forgot the Monica. <laughs> we might have a problem. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What's next? Next topic. Oh, I thought we was done. Oh, uh, Lieutenant Dan dropped the end bomb. What? Oh, he out of here. Well, he ain't got no leg. Oh, that's what I was going to say. He was, he was misleading because when people be like, oh, God sent me here. God did this. God did that. They don't normally turn around and be like, Fuck that! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, eh, just that's like just language, thing. though. Man. I mean, it's true, but you know, you wait, just, is he half black? If you, you if you would never he expect your, to me, you would never expect your mother to even though. You would never expect to hear your mother law say fuck that nigga. Nah, but she did buy me some Hennessy, white Hennessy. That's just because she that. know that her. Well, that just means she nigga. got it in her. It's in there. No, she she can see a nigga from from deep. Mm. Where do you think she bought that white Hennessy? 
She probably was a total, like, hey, a total wine in, in spirits. My nigga, you got white Hennessy? It's a total wine. In, <laughs> <laughs> no, she probably said it very pleasant. I don't know. I'm looking for She it. is very nice. So. I go to total wine. I don't see white Hennessy in there. That's where they said they sold it during the 10 year anniversary of uh, Hennessy. I don't know. I go there. Now, she bought religiously. it. Religiously. She bought it from when they went on a cruise. She bought two bottles and she gave one to a family member and the other one. <laughs> see what I'm saying? She probably came back like, she hey, nigga, the, look what I got. She know the drinkers. And what, and what he do when he get it? Ooh, mama. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> what anything we got, else, Chris? Anything else on the docket? Then Derry got it. He said, I ain't Chris. got shit else. I'm done talking to these snakes. Boy, I can't believe they would do me. He said, Chris. Then Derry got Cut it. off the money. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, Will Smith was trending today on Twitter. You want to know why? What did he do then? He cried. He ain't did nothing. They was posting clips of him on iRobot. Cause there's a clip floating around, uh, nigga, like a tech Tesla conference or something, talking to the robot. Oh, and, I seen that. And Twenty this grand. This nigga's having a fluent conversation. Like, Twenty grand, you can get you a Tesla robot that like do household chores and stuff. Oh, like he talking, mm. he he dapping his hands it. and shit, yeah. like fucking crazy. Yeah. I just seen the video for right before we started podding. Yeah, yeah, Keenan sent that video. No, nah, it was somebody else's. I uh, didn't. I sent it. Well, no, nah, somebody can hack it. Nah, you shit. did. You sent the video. Oh, but I'm just like, oh, hey. Shit. It was I, a Tesla one too. Yeah, bro, that's the government, man. Don't but do that'll that. make the that'll make Tesla stock go up though. Tesla got a robo man coming out. Like, I seen that today. That that bro, you know that the government like be like, stupid. "Yo, we gonna like subpoena your robot and shit. Like, we won't. We gonna take your robot for evidence." He been recording this whole time. Yeah, because yeah. like, like you nah, could, fuck that. Nah, because it'd be like you could you could kill someone and be like, "My robot killed him." I don't think it worked like that, Chris. You will be the nigga to try that shit. They just put people in Texas in jail when they dog killed that old lady. They gave him 10 years. Oh, you're right. So if your robot killed a motherfucker, you done. But I'd be like, you put my robot in. Dog got loose and mauled an old lady. And they, uh, the owners got 10 years apiece or something like that. No, nah, just put that nigga down. Put the dog down. Yeah, I didn't tell him to do that shit. It's your dog, bro. You got to be there responsible. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, yeah. Did that. He was having a conversation with that. I think nigga op- walking around. His name is Optimus. No, nah, I ain't doing that. I pop Optimus ass. Yeah, like he talking, he was like, he was asking them favorite shit. He was like, ah, oh, yeah, man, I like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, where are you from? All that, yeah. yeah just so like, a, like Siri with a body. Actually, mm. a little more profound Wait, than Siri. Siri. Right now, Siri's like Jarvis. Mm-hmm. No, Jarvis. Oh, she agrees. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Seemed a little dumb to me. Yeah. What Jarvis would never understand? say no shit like That's that. crazy. <laughs> My nigga Jar's like, I'll put out the fire, Tony. You go to We but done. We finished right, her. Any, we any words of wisdom? Nah, we man. You guys want to get off Cut it, chest? Chris. Cut it. We Kanye done. Kanye West walked into the street sign. I don't give a shit. People do it all the you time. You know, I put that Johnny in there. did it. <laughs> you know, I, I been that. There. But see, he hit the <laughs> sign. Like, the sign part was low enough for him to hit. But it, no, I hit the pole. I thought yeah. it was crazy because you was looking up at something and got fucked up. He, he was, was looking, looking down, down and got so fucked So you just got to look straight ahead. That's yeah, you got to you got to you got to find more, the more the story. Look straight ahead. Got your eyes on the road. And he was it. pissed. He was like, "Well, if you want to take pictures of me." He was like, "Stop recording." Yeah. Me. <laughs> nigga was embarrassed. <laughs> and the dude hit, "Yes." <laughs> the dude tapped him on I the back. I couldn't imagine like, that happening to me and me high. being Kanye West with all the people high. around. Get your fucking ass out of here. <laughs> you good Kanye walking out, baby. Kanye, you okay? Turn the fucking cameras off! You got my fucking ears <laughs> ringing and shit. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing on that one, too. Yeah. Motherfucking, fucking song. All, you heard, was, all you heard was the people around like, oh my God! <laughs> Kanye, are you okay? Did he do that stumble back when they get hit? Like, that nigga was just down. Like, he was like, down. God damn! Kanye, are you okay? Are you okay, Kanye? Get the fucking cameras out of my face! <laughs> but, be like that. Any words of wisdom? Anything you want to wrap anything up with? Words of wisdom. Don't be like Nelly. Straight to the point. Mm. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. Mm. Bars. One more time for the people in the back. Science mm. is organized knowledge. Like, you know the science. It's, mm. you know. Okay. Wisdom is organized life. Like, you live through this. You did. But you got it organized you know where you understand it. Yeah. Now, you took something away from it. You got wisdom now. Yeah, I feel yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Real I simple. I did the science like that. on that one. You know For what I'm sure. Saying? And now you got wisdom. I, I'm here. Boom. Okay. And you know what I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Tune in shit. next time. I ain't carrying no nigga for hold 20 on, hold years. On. If you stuck around this long, drop a fire flame emoji in the comments.
I already said fuck that. Goddamn dude. snakes. <laughs> like and comment and subscribe. Peace, oh, love, hair grease. We'll see you later. And tell your cousins. One. And your Y'all still using hair grease? And your uncle. Do you?